Hiya. Hiya. Hey guys, we're uh, testing out the calcium batteries. We try uh, um, the lead acid batteries and the garbage, the leisure ones. So this is an even smaller battery than before. Um, I'm going to show you in a second, but I'm just driving. Let me get through this bridge first, this bridge section, and then I'll show you. Um, I've been on endurance test and it's really, really good. A quick charging. You need a smart charger to charge it as well, right? So it's just not worth getting those leisure batteries that are the lead acid ones you're better off getting the uh, calcium uh, batteries to be honest they're a lot better I'm going to decide which way I'm going today I think I might turn uh... looks like I'm going right then yeah I'll go right for a change go right right so obviously there's me let's get straightened up so there it is there, it's only 100 amps and it's powering my en little engine like that, right? So it's 100 amps and uh, yeah, 100 amps it is, 100 amps calcium battery, easy to charge up, uses a uh, smart charger like I said before and you just have to leave it and it will just tell you when it's full and ready to go. It's quicker to charge for a start than the lead acid batteries as well and it's um, a lot more powerful and a lot less um, heavy as well and a lot smaller in profile than what have you so I definitely agree with getting them they're a little bit more expensive but to be honest it's perfect oh yeah so it's uh, it's it's perfect for that sort of uh, size and what have you and this boat as well it's, it's ideal for it so it just runs on electric like that I don't want to go to have petrol engines at the moment I'm on I'm not even at half speed yet and I'm just chilling out relaxing I thought the opportunity to go for a little cruise there's only me on board today because I was only just going to go and check the boat and I thought you know what look how calm it is out there let's take it out for a quick spin do this endurance test thing and see how these uh, batteries go and all that like I said it works perfect so if you want to this is the quick burst bit the quick burst uh, thing I'm going to do right let me just whiz the camera around again for a second like so so I'm going to do a quick burst of power just to show you what it's all about right mate so let me get into the into this section um, let's get a bit of a clear clear way so I'm only on not even half power um, gear I'm on gear 3 out of gear 5 okay on the, on the calcium so as soon as I know I'm into it, let's have a quick look. There we go. So now we we'll go. Right. I've got top gear. Top gear now. Just look at the power that's pulling out there. I've got to keep it steady. But well, I'll show you how quick we're going. I'm going past this now. And that's barge is massive. So I overtook that in seconds, literally seconds. I'm not nippy as anything. Right. I'm gonna knock it down again. There we go. Knocked it down because you know people live on here and things like that and you can't go rising around, it's only a five mile an hour speed limit, which is I'm on gear three now and I'm doing about that now, so and it's dead quiet. You've got less moving parts for a start. You've only got one moving part and that's actually the uh, motor there. So I'm trying to do everything at once while I'm on my own. So that's it, easy. Made by Bison, this is 68 pound thruster. You can get powerful ones as well. There's no fumes, no fuel cheaper for your boat insurance for a start so that's a winner winner chicken dinner for it straight off let me switch view again so it's cheaper that way as well cheaper all around all i've got to do is charge it up or top it up with the solar panel and that's it not on that though the solar panel won't take these calcium batteries it'll just uh probably i don't, I don't know it probably won't take take it but i've not looked into it but you just take it home and just charge it up on your uh, smart charger it's easy enough to do it doesn't take long i leave it on for 24 hours and it's 
well done there's loads of power in it loads of juice uh, not about not sure about putting it onto solar to be honest I don't think it would work but I don't think I'm gonna even bother looking into that I'm gonna get another one of those and it's only hundred and ten amps I'm gonna fit it in its box as well with the isolator switch I'm gonna take it out from the um, the, the lead acid the lead battery acid one so I'm taking that out that's garbage so all that's fit for to be honest is running lights and stuff it's not fit for anything else so you're better off and look well, I've, I've done a, a decent length now already and I've been up and down and I'm gonna have a look look let's, let's have a look let's have a look at this folks look, look how much power I've got Hold on, I'm trying to drive with uh, looking full bars there, full bars as well. So that's really well. It smells nice and fresh around here today. Can't knock that, can you? So anyway, if you're thinking of getting your boat in electric, this is 18 foot. This boat, 18. What's that? 18 foot. This boat, and it pushes it easy. It can carry a maximum of six people. Um, a little navy boat. My little patrol boat and it this battery will push it no problem uh, obviously if you're on your own it'll go even further still than what have you watch out for that log there looks like a crocodile look at it um so that's that's it so oh, don't forget to subscribe i'm going to do some if you want any more questions and what have you let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them for you so folks the conclusion is electric in my mind is definitely the way forward it's better for the environment for a start it saves you money in the long run the batteries are dear but once you pay for the battery to be honest with you they work out cheap a lot cheaper than buying an outboard engine and everything else and there's so many thousands of moving parts well maybe not thousands but there's quite a few moving parts so there's all sorts that can go wrong plus you've got the fuel then you've got the spillage and this and that and the other so I'd definitely go with electric and I'm going to stick with electric to be honest because it is the 21st century and electric is to me a winner each time you get to see a lot more nature so the positives are okay the positives with electric you're quiet you're good for the environment you get to see nature and uh, it's a leisurely play uh, pace as well I mean you can keep up with a, a, a petrol or any other fueled um, boat and uh, you know it's, it's just a lot easier easier to manage less moving parts less chance of your breaking down and you can even get free electric with the uh, sunshine depends on how often you use your boat if you don't use it that much it'll be fully charged every time you connect it to a solar panel maybe maybe not these calcium batteries uh, but the other ones uh, and then the, the, the downside you see with the petrol engine pollution noise pollution as well then you've got all the moving parts to consider plus your boat insurance is a lot dearer as well uh you know and also your boat license is dearer with you being electric it's cheaper you get a discount for that so there's a bonus there as well uh you know and then it's just it's weight as well i mean obviously you probably get a bit more power out of it and you probably can go further as well but all you've got to do is carry another couple of those batteries there and you're, you're all right and you go wherever you want. So that's my view on electric and I'm going to stick with electric no, no matter what because technology is moving forward constantly all the time and the engine I've got on that is only a year old and then in a year or two to be a new version out which will make you go even further and, and what have you. So it's definitely something to think about and i think eventually quite a lot of boats will be going electric i can just see it so thanks very much for watching folks and don't forget to subscribe as well and check out all the other cool and fantastic videos thanks again